Hey guys, this is Mike Goldberg, the voice of Bellator MMA, and I would like to welcome you to the Fight Cave. Here we go! Yes. Okay guys, welcome back. We've just got the brand new Demetrius Johnson bobblehead from MMA Bobblehead. Okay, so the first thing off the box is probably one of their better boxer, boxes they made. Um, it's ultra glossy. Um, really um, dramatic photo in front with a nice touch of, um, you know, effects, Photoshop, whatnot. Um, on the inside of the box, you have your standard, um, you know, chain. But this one, it, you know, it has the one logo for the one FC. And that, that that's pretty cool because none of the other MMA bobbleheads have had kind of the official sponsorship from the, the MMA promotion. So that, that's a real cool... Uh, thing and I'm glad that they've been able to or were able to hook that up um, Some of the other things that it had uh, Had a certificate of authenticity and I guess they made 550 of them, which is still a very low amount uh, You get a another certificate of authenticity authenticity because it was autographed You see DJ's all smiles glad he was loving this, uh, this uh, We get a personal note from Dave Right, Dave, just thank you for the purchase and uh, reminding you that this thing is fragile. Please be careful when you put it together and take it out. And then we got another personal letter from Demetrius Johnson just saying it's very important to find something that you're passionate about and, and just pursue it and you're going to be happy. Uh, you might not be rich, but you're going to be happy. And uh, looks like uh, Dave from MMA Bobblehead also included a uh, five by seven photo of uh, the box and what he, what inspired uh, the MMA bobblehead. So we got a great look at the box. We got a great look at the inserts and let's go ahead and look at the bobblehead itself. And uh, right away, it's a dramatic pose. You have really great sculpt on the body. And even though it appears like his legs are a little smaller than they should be uh it's okay because this is a bobblehead and it shouldn't look exactly the scale it's going to look a, a little cartoony and that, that fits in line with the rest of the, the line um we see the autograph on the base and just to begin you know there was um i forget how many signed but it came out to uh, about 180 dollars shipped so um those are that's for the autograph ones i think the ones that are not signed are a hundred bucks and uh you know i'm gonna use that 180 dollar price tag to kind of um use it as a measuring stick on this piece um we can see the cauliflower ear uh, the blue mouth piece if you look inside of his mouth and let me see if i can get the lighting just right uh you can see the tonsils inside his mouth which is let's see if I can get it which is a really cool uh really cool detail mm. uh, I think the paint was good um the lettering um was good um when it comes to the paint application on the lettering on his name um yeah, it looks good. It looks like they didn't do go too crazy um, doing the shading for his hairline. It looks natural. It looks great. Um, beard looks good. Um, I think some things that might have been missed is adding some logos on his glove and maybe some logos on his pants. Um, you know, and I don't think, you know, I, I think for, you know, like the UFC and George St. Pierre, uh, bobblehead that I got that was kind of like the highlights of the piece the pieces that look really great was because they added on stickers and uh, perhaps th that was a missed opportunity here uh, not only um, you know for the overall authenticity but for the, the 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 brand itself right he's connected to 1FC to add 1FC uh, to to this bobblehead I think would have bought some brand recognition um, even on a, a micro scale. Um, one of the things that was different is that it came in three pieces or, you know, maybe, and I'm thinking like that looks like glue now, because I just assumed 
that um, this came off to make it easier uh, to ship. But now that I have this really bright light on it, it looks like it might have came off in shipping. And you can kind of see some uh, paint residue. So I think that might would have happened. But it's not a big deal. I just got to add a little bit of glue and it should come back on. And it'll be okay. But, you know, you have at least the, the blue, the blue stripe. Uh, which is always a nice detail. Uh, the musculature looks really good. I mean, look look at the physique. I mean, uh, if that was sculpted by hand, bravo. I would think maybe, probably, that it was digitally sculpted. But if that was sculpted by hand, um, that, that was that's a great, great job. Uh, his face looks good. Um, yeah, there's not too much to complain about. I mean... It's a powerful pose. It's, um, I, I wish they would have stayed with the white base, but at least they, they made it a little bit different. It's, it's a circle. Uh, I think 1FC fights in a circle cage. And of course we all know that UFC is the octagon. So I like that they, they changed that up. Um, let me see if they put some branding in the back. No, I thought maybe they would be a 1FC branding or something. Uh, since it was on the box, it's not there, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I think it's a good overall piece. Uh, when it comes for dollar to dollar value, I think if you're a really uh, hardcore collector and you have space, um, I think this is a buy. Uh, if you don't have a lot of space or, you know, you're a guy who's constantly selling and trading, uh, this will probably go for a hundred bucks on the secondary market. So, um, and maybe, maybe not even that once you take out eBay fees and shipping fees. So, um, you buy this, buy it to, to hold on to it for, you know, five to 10 years, uh, with such a low edition size of 550, that's about 11 per state. Uh, it's not unreasonable to think that it could, it could really, uh, at least double in, in value in the next five, 10 years, especially if this line uh, catches on and you're getting a lot more um, collectors to, to its to its kind of its fan base. So, um, you know, those are the things you got to think about because the enemy of every collector is space. Uh, and uh, you want to be careful not to bring in things that you don't truly love because not only is it a waste of money, but then you're storing it, you're putting it away, maybe you're putting it away where, you know, the item might not be 100% safe. So uh, that's it. I mean, to me, I like it. I, this is my 11th MMA bobblehead that I bought. I know that um, I had a kind of a negative experience with Randy Couture. I really didn't, I, 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 I didn't like it, but it is clearly by far the worst uh, bobblehead in my, my opinion that they produce and the rest of them have been pretty damn good. Or else I wouldn't have 11 of them. So uh, I think they did a really good job on this. I think, you know, Demetrius Johnson is uh, an icon. I've seen him fight in person against Henry Cejudo in the rematch. And I think it's a shame that he's not in the flyweight division, um, you know, with um, Figueredo, Figueredo and uh, Moreno and Cejudo. Cejudo could go down there. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to. So it's, it's pretty sad that he's kind of out of the mix. Now that the flyweight division has really gotten interesting. But you never know. Uh, if they traded to, to to give him away, maybe they could trade him and bring him back in. So well, thanks for watching. I hope this, you know, helps you make a decision on whether or not you want to buy it. I, I like it. I bought it. I have room for it. And I have 10 other ones that it will go along with nicely. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and uh, link will be in the bio if you want to go uh, buy one. Buy one soon because, you know, 550 is not a lot. And I think, I think all the autographs ones may be close to be selling out. So I don't know if they made, I know this is about two, I think it was like 252, I think. So let me see here. No, it was 155. So yeah, there might not be too many left. So if you want one, don't wait, go get it. And, uh. They have a great thing where you can break down the payments in, in four, four bi-weekly payments. So that makes, you know, buying an autograph one a little more, more easy to do without having to charge or anything. So that's a great, great option for you guys. All right. Thanks again.